have devices. Right, so let's so let's take a look at this. So, so let's read that scripture again. I'm gonna go into the, the different words that are used there, right? So uh, Job 5 and 12 says he disappointed the devices of the crafty and their hands that their hands can so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay? So let's let's read this. So the devices here is what? Is plan, purpose, invention. Okay, what's their plan and purpose and invention? To destroy you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans off of the earth and from being a nation within the earth. Okay? Um, let's get the word crafty there. The word crafty there is shrewd, uh, subtle, okay? And I believe that's the, you know, that's how the brother breaks it down out there in London. The elder breaks it down. Ricard breaks it, the elder Ricard breaks it down in London. All right, it goes into that word crafty and uh, 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 and subtlety, a uh, uh, subtitle, subtlety, right? Because that's the devices that the wicked is, that subtlety, man. Going back onto the serpent that was in the garden, he said, look, you surely ain't gonna die. He got Eve by subtlety, man. And that's how Esau's doing the same, he's doing the same, running the same gig right now. Okay, he's doing the same, he's running the same lines as before. Okay, he's getting you that subtlety, man. Okay? So it says there, um, and then the enterprise, obviously we know what the enterprise is, which is basically what they was going to be trying to set up, which is their so-called New World Order. That's the enterprise that they're trying to uh, 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 accomplish, all right? Let's go back onto the book of Job, the 20th chapter. That's a problem. We're going to be out here much longer, though. It's a serious cuddle back. So, so back within the book of Job, the 20th chapter, um, Job 20 and 5 it says, No, it's not Job 20 and 4 it says, No, it's thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of a hypocrite uh, for a moment. So basically, you have a situation where uh, Esau. That's good. <laughs> so you basically got a situation where Esau thinks he's got one over upon the children of Israel and the Mosai, all this on the third. All right. But ultimately, they haven't got that. Okay. They're, they're yes. having the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans in captivity. Guess what? You can't enjoy over that because when you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna be the one that's gonna be put in slavery next. Okay, that's gonna be dealing with the righteous rulership of Jacob. Okay, I'll like probably it. look at it from the book of um, Psalms 147 and 19. Okay, so it says there, uh, No, it's thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So they're enjoying and they're rejoicing over taking the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans down. But guess what? There's nothing to joy over because the Heavenly Father was still going to have mercy upon his children. Okay, the, 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 the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. He says, though His Excellency might up unto the heavens, so they set their Excellency to where they got chariots up there within the sky. They got space traps. You go to an Elon, this dude Elon Musk, he put a, 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 a car out there within outer space. Okay, just going around the earth, apparently. Right, so though the, the triumphing of the wicked, uh, so the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency might up unto the heaven, and his head reach unto the cloud, right, yea, he shall perish forever like his own gun. Let's go to the point. So this is the point. Uh, Job 20 and 18. It says, That which he had labored for shall he restore, and he shall not swallow it down. Okay, so they have labored for what? They've labored for uh, the so-called New World Order, man. Okay? But they ain't gonna be able to enjoy it, man. Because the Mosai is gonna flip it on them. 
All right, the scriptures talk about how that they was gonna be, um, it's gonna say here, in the fullness of their sufficiency shall they be in straits. The outburst from the outside runners and the bells go off. And it's supposed to be so loud, this, you know, it's not, it's not midday. Okay, it's not 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, right, it says there, um, that which he had laid before shall he restore and shall not be able to swallow it down. According to his restitution shall be the, uh, according to his substance, substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein, because he has forsaken and he has oppressed, and he has, because he has oppressed and forsaken the poor, and he has violently taken the house which he built not. Okay, surely he shall not feel the quietness within his belly, man. And that's 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 what's gonna come upon all the, all the Esau. You got some people out here talking about, well, that wasn't us. Well, the scripture says within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, on the 21st verse, how did the, uh, uh, um, how did, you know, there we go, fantastic. How did, uh, basically says within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, on the 12th verse, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their forefathers, that they may not rise up and build uh, build up the, these different houses and these, sorry, rather than these different cities, man. Okay? So now let's look at the righteous new world order that the Heavenly Father is going to establish within the earth. That's the uh, back, the, ca the backup um, cameras that's just gone, that just died there. All right, but I'll be out here in a second or so, about 10 minutes or so. All right, so now let's take a look at what the Heavenly Father's got in store, all right, for the earth. In fact, we can start within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and hopefully, 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 um, Isaiah 14 and 1 it says for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob so now we're dealing with what the righteous rulership of the Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans right so this is Isaiah the 14th chapter we can start here because it all starts with the uh, salvation of the children of Israel by way of Hashem okay in the time of uh, uh, World War 3 it says therefore uh, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and send them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined unto them and with them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And that's dealing with the uh, children that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, here it is, we speak about the children of Israel being scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, where stands the reason where the Heavenly Father was going to have mercy upon his people. He was going to redeem us and our children that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in land for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And that's all the enemies of the children of Israel, especially you Edomites that had to put us within slavery. Okay, well you don't, what well, you Edomites don't realize is that because you put the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity, okay, you're going into captivity. Okay, the scripture says within the book of uh, Revelations 13 and 9, he that leadeth into captivity, you shall go into captivity. All right, here it is, we're talking about judgment and restitution and all of these different things. All right, when you go into the judicial system, but guess what? You're the main perpetrator of sin within the earth and the Heavenly Father set it up to where you're gonna, you was going to receive judgment for all the iniquities that you have done. All right, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall give thee sorrow from thy hard bondage and from thy, uh, 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 from thy fear which thou was made to serve. So here it is, we done... Put all types of hell underneath the Esau, man. Okay, we've been we've been uh, we've been privy to all types of uh, of, of, of impoverishments, man. We've been privy yeah. to all types of uh, of, of uh, destructive force coming by by the hand of Esau, the Red Hebrew Edomite. But now the Heavenly Father's going to flip the script, man, and we was going to receive peace and um. We, we was gonna receive mercy from what did they say? We was gonna be we was gonna receive rest from all of those uh, 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 um, um, hard, that, from that hard bondage. That I shall take this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? All right, the Lord has broken the scythe of the wicked and the scepter of the ruler. He who smote the people with a continual stroke is he, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted. Because you know one of the things that's gonna happen with with the heavenly Father redeeming his people. You got a situation whereby what? You got it to where there's no more need for the wicked, okay? The wicked are gonna be 